What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob and welcome back to a brand new episode in my cheap versus expensive YouTube series. This is the series where I, ADC Art Attack, take two art supplies in the same category, put them up against each other, boom, bow, and find out which one of them is worth it at their price points. Okay then. Today we have got the Graphite B, also known as the Graphite Brush Markers, going up against the Sharpie super cool packaged markers. Now the Graphic B markers come in at a price tag of $250 or if you are in the US that is $500 for a collection of 90 markers but they also come with this really cool display case which I think is a really nice touch and now we have used these markers in the past and they turned out to be absolutely amazing. In fact they are one of my favorite collections of markers to date. They're pretty good markers though they are kind of expensive if you live in the US. And so the Graphic B markers are going up against this collection of Sharpie markers coming in at a price tag of $25 at the time I purchased these last year. And apologies, I don't have an updated price. I could not find them online recently, so maybe they're not available anymore. But yeah. Within this collection, you get 30 markers, which is pretty good value for money. $25 for 30 markers? Wow, and a pretty box with a coloring thing on the back. Which I still haven't coloured. I probably never will. But it's there if you want to. What I want you to do right now before this video begins is to leave your comments down below letting me know which one of these pens you think is going to come out on top. Then at the end of the video I'm going to be asking you to edit your comment or comment underneath your comment letting me know which one of these pens is your new favourite. I think you're going to be surprised. Let's go. So before we actually get started with today's comparison, we need something on this sheet of paper that we can work with. And I figured to celebrate the release of Zack Snyder's Justice League cut coming out real soon, why don't we do the Black Suit Superman? Now this drawing was done as part of a live stream on ADC Art Attack 2. If you are not subscribed to that channel, it is my second channel where I do much of my live streams. So feel free to subscribe, there will be a link down below in the description. But most importantly, one of the key features of this drawing I am doing right here is that this is a symmetrical drawing and is also an original drawing. I'm creating this drawing based on various sources from collective things such as Henry Cavill himself from the movies and the comics. I'm also taking a little bit of inspiration from animes such as Dragon Ball Z. And with all that being said, the drawing is done. It is time to get started with the comparison. With that out of the way, what are my first impressions of a Sharpie? They are small, sleek, and they do look very, very professional. They're one of the nicer looking markers out there. They use a sort of bullet nib. I don't quite know what to call this nib, but it's essentially a bullet nib that you would find with most alcohol markers. And that's about all they have. They have the nib, they have the casing, and nothing else really. So what's the first touch of the Sharpie like? You know, it's actually not that bad. The coverage of these pens is absolutely amazing, with beautiful, vibrant colours. But, there's always a but, they dry faster than anything I have ever used. This is a major concern if you are looking to blend. You have a very, very tight window to blend these colours and depending on the paper, that time could be even less. For example, today I'm using Bristleboard, a high tier paper. Paper that makes other paper look like tissue. It's a really good paper. However, it is smooth and that's causing a big problem with the drying times. There is zero time to blend, they dry near instantaneously, so yeah. Sketch paper, however, actually allows for blending as shown in our previous use of Sharpies. So, yeah, Sharpies and sketch paper, good. Sharpies and bristleboard, not so good. Now while I go through this, I want to quickly touch on my design choices today using an orange glow. There's actually a reason I have done this. The first and most obvious is his lasers. The second reason, I wanted to purposely use more color. You see, a black suit isn't going to allow me to cover enough of the markers to give a fair comparison, especially when we only have one gray and one black in this set. It would be super boring and totally unfair. So I've chosen to add random colours where I like to, perhaps not always making sense, but I just want to use as much colour as possible. And you know what? I actually really like this underglow that we've got going on, the purple, it just, it just looks nice. 
Now there is a serious issue I need to come back to, and I do apologize that I keep mentioning this, but it is super important to these markers and it is a big factor, that being the smell. I drew this as part of a live stream, and I actually had to cut my live stream short due to dizziness and a fairly sickly feeling. And now yes, I don't work in a well ventilated room, but even so, these markers are over the top. The scent is overpowering, it's addictive and it's lingering. Working on large pieces with these, no, J just no. What should have taken one and a half hours maximum took well over four hours due to the many breaks and many uncomfortable feelings. Finally, however, we reach the face. One of the most important areas when using markers are the flesh tones. So how does this collection of 30 markers deal with skin tones? Not, um, not very well. In fact, there's nothing remotely close to Superman's flesh tone within this collection. So once again, we have to get very creative with what we do have and ignoring the smell, this is, in my opinion, the biggest drawback of these pens. A solid range of flesh tones is a must for any artist and it should be a staple in any collection of markers. I don't care if it's set A, B or C, they should always have a solid, solid selection of flesh tones. But in the end, yeah. The huge lack of colours within this selection is a real issue, but the greater problem would be the lack of blending. You see, usually I would say two colours is plenty to do a beautiful gradient. Unfortunately, without being able to blend, it's pretty bland. The tones are limited, and while I do think this looks okay, so much is lacking. The ability to be able to blend would have changed this piece drastically, but if not, then adding more variety would have made this a little bit better. However, I don't wish to spend any longer talking about this side, we will compare it at the end. So now, let's go take a look at the Graphic B. So right off the bat, one of the most obvious things about the Graphic B collection is we have a far greater range of colours right here, and this alone should give the markers a massive edge. But will it? The Graphic B marker is a lot larger than the Sharpie marker, with a very different design, this one being triangular gripped. But the biggest difference with these markers is the fact that the Graphic B markers are a brush nib. And they also have a secret weapon on the other side. A fine point. This is by far one of the greatest things to come to an alcohol marker, and I'll explain why shortly. But trust me, this is very useful and you will love to have this. So now, brush nibs are widely considered to be the superior nib when it comes to alcohol markers. In my opinion, eh, it doesn't matter all that much. I would say just use whatever you can get, but most importantly, have fun. However, it must be said, the moment you begin using these, especially coming off the back of using the Sharpies, it's like, it's amazing. It feels like you're in so much more control. I have a product here that moves to my command. And whatever I envision, I feel like I can do. And one of the most noticeable differences as you begin would be those drying times. These markers sit for a little bit longer, not too much, but the inks themselves can be reactivated. So blending, yeah, not even, not even a contest. These markers are blending kings. I've spoken about these markers in the past, but I have never used them on such high quality paper. And it truly feels like the only limitations right here are my time and my ability to create something beautiful. As for the wider range of colors, hold up, the grays. This collection has one of the best ranges of gray tones out there. In one collection, it is ridiculous. Never ever underestimate the power of a gray marker. It's one of the most versatile colors and can be used in so many applications. So yes, with this range of tones for this particular character, I again am only limited by my skills and I guess the choices I make in the colors that I pick. Which actually adds a little bit of pressure right here because I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna fail and I'll have no one to blame but myself. Uh oh. But hey, the best part about this is I don't need to worry about those highlights. Why? Well, as you saw previously, I had to base using the highlight color because Sharpies just don't allow for a good overlay. These markers, however, it's just, it's ridiculous. I can put my highlights over the top, no problem. And with the brush nibs giving me full control over the pressure and the ink release, I am just loving this. 
Overall, the strengths and advantages of these markers right here cannot be understated. Our palette is vast, but even if you can't find the colors for a situation, you can always improvise, layer over until you find the color you need. It's actually one of the things I do with the face here because I did struggle to choose the correct colors for the face, but with a little bit of stuff and effect, it, it actually comes out okay in the end. And here it is. Here we have it everyone, the Sharpie versus the Graphic B. What do you think about this right now? At first glance, yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little shocked actually. Something doesn't quite seem right because I'm looking at this and my eyes are moving to the left hand side. That just doesn't seem right. So let's take a closer look. Starting with the Sharpie side, now that we are down at this level, I can see a few issues. The blending. Nah. The colors, while vibrant, without being able to blend, we are really limited by the markers provided. Yes, the cell shaded approach would most certainly have been better. However, without the wider range of tones, we are still limited in what we can do. From a distance, however, the depth and colors here really plays on your mind and actually attracts your eyes, good or bad, to the left hand side. Or is it just me? Moving on to the Graphic B side, the blending is a huge win. Even if we were to restrict our color selection, blending would still make up the difference and allow for gradients. And that is usually the beauty of alcohol markers. You don't need a full range to get a range of tones. You just need to blend. However, of course, the extra colors were a huge plus. So which is worth it? I want you right now to leave your comments down below letting me know, looking at them side by side, which one would you go for? The left hand side coming in at a price point of $25 for 30 markers, or the right hand side coming in at a price tag of $250 or $500 if you are in the US for a total of 90 markers, plus you get a display case. So which of these collections is my favorite? Well, I gotta say, after using both of them back to back, my worth it winner today has to be the Graphic B markers. This collection of markers is absolutely amazing. And regardless of which price you fall under, whether it's the $250 or the $500, I've gotta say that this is definitely worth it. You're getting a great collection, something that will elevate the quality of your work and the ease of your work. I love them, you'll love them too. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. My name has been ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob, and we look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. I do hope you enjoyed yourself over here. You learned something new, and that's about it, really. Go get yourself a tea, go relax, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, one more thing before I go. If there is anything you would like to see me do in a future video, please leave those comments down below. I do read as many of the comments as I possibly can. Plus, it also keeps me busy, so do that. Comment, speak, say hi. I'll say hi back. I'll try. <laughs> Take it easy, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.